Florida and now Disney World's uh, may be getting a little smaller. Governor Ron DeSantis is expected to sign a bill to strip the company of its self-governing status. State House lawmakers passed the measure Thursday. It's the latest move in the battle between DeSantis and Disney World over the controversial so-called don't say gay law. Newsy national correspondent Haley Bull joins us now with the latest details. Hi, Haley. Yeah, good morning, Lindsay and Alex. So this bill dissolves a handful of self-governing districts, including Disney's. Uh, there are questions, though, about what impact this might have on the surrounding local governments and taxpayers. And what's interesting about this bill is that it takes effect June 2023, but may leave open the possibility for reestablishment. So to walk through a little bit of the history of this, this goes back to the 1960s when what's called the Reedy Creek Improvement District. District, that's Disney's local government, essentially, was created. And that gave the responsibilities of a county government. So the district was responsible for paying its taxes, uh, maintaining water, power, roadway, fire protection. And the district also carries a significant amount of debt. Some analysts estimate it's at least a billion dollars. Now, a bill sponsor says the districts impacted would devolve into local governments, including expenses, debt, and revenue. So the Orange County tax collector tweeted, they estimate the county would have to take on $163 million per year from this, while Osceola County says it's going to start an analysis to understand the impact and what costs may shift to them. Now, a big question, of course, is what are the next steps going to look like, especially between now and 2023? There is a Florida statute that requires residents vote if a special district is going to be dissolved, but the bill sponsor argues based on the bill passed, that statute would not apply here. Again, the dissolution would be effective next June. So keep in mind, between now and then, there is still another legislative session. So what negotiations, what details are hammered out between now and then uh, still remains to be seen. And of course, the governor still needs to sign the bill, which he is expected to do. Now, supporters of this have said the districts impacted aren't consistent with state constitution and argue that others don't get special treatment. Meanwhile, critics have said this is political retribution and a way to detract from redistricting, which lawmakers also voted on this week. Others are, are simply shocked at this move, given Disney's economic impact in the state through employment and tourism. We spoke with Florida political uh, expert Professor Aubrey Jewett. Take a listen to what he had to say. Why they did it then? You know, why, why would DeSantis and the Republicans attack Disney like this, given Disney's importance and given Disney's support over all those years. And I think the answer is that Governor DeSantis really thinks that this is a winning issue for him among Republican voters, not just in Florida, but Republican voters nationwide who may participate in a presidential primary in 2024. And so this is one of a string of actions that Governor DeSantis has taken over the last couple years to really appeal to those Republican voters across the country. Now, the original reason for the special session in which lawmakers passed this bill regarding Disney was over the state's congressional map. DeSantis, Governor DeSantis, vetoed the maps that were passed during the regular session, his office submitting its own version for this special session. Analysts said it would likely give Republicans more districts and impact minority districts by cutting them in half. That was also passed this week as representatives protested on the House floor. Now, again, the governor's office says he has until May 6 to sign both of these bills. We have not heard from Disney at this point, but that is to be expected given there are likely a lot of lawyers, a lot of people looking us over because Alex Lindsay, it is certainly a very complex issue uh, and decades here to go through to move forward with it. All right. Haley Bull reporting.